advice well, on the ethics side to young journalists, the, like the ones we just graduated yeah, my, here today? My advice <laughs> is, is be honest. Uh, it's the same advice your parents gave you when you were in kindergarten. Honesty is the best policy. Tell them the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Don't embellish, don't make it up. Uh, don't, don't have any political agendas. Uh, make sure that the aggrieved party has a, a right to comment before you go to air or go to press. Um, don't, and don't, uh, don't be used uh, to allow anyone to die or be hurt. Uh, be sensitive to that. Mm -hmm. And maybe we could just end with this, uh, if you would just talk about the things that you've done in your career of which you're most proud. Well, it's almost 40 years now, if I look back and since I finished graduate school. I've been proud of uh, all the journalistic work that I've done um, in the 70s and 80s, uh, covering the Middle East. Um, I've been proud of the military, when I was a Pentagon correspondent, military stuff that I covered. Proud, I was almost eight years, seven years as our senior White House correspondent during the Clinton administration. I've been anchoring shows for the last you know, 15 years uh, at CNN Inside Politics, uh, then uh, Wolf Blitzer Reports, the Situation Room, Late Edition I did for 11 years, our Sunday show. Uh, I'm very proud of all that work. I think, you know, we, we did a good job. And, uh, was it you know, the greatest journalism ever? No, but it was important. I've been blessed to cover some of the most important stories of our lifetime, the last 30 or 40 years, I was, I was there uh, uh, covering whatever big story there was that CNN would send me. The last, I've been with CNN now for 21 years. Uh, so in television, that's a long time you know, to be at the same place. And uh, whenever there's been a big story, uh, they said, Wolf, get, get there. And so if you're a journalist, you want to have a front row seat to history. You want to have access to newsmakers. You want to interview newsmakers and ask tough questions. You want to get the news first. I've always been a news junkie ever since I was a little boy growing up in Buffalo. Uh, and, you know, I've been so privileged that even if I had become a doctor or a lawyer or an accountant or anything else, uh, I would have still been a news junkie because I, I love this kind of stuff. And ever, ever since I was a little boy, I loved it. So. Uh, if, if you're passionate about it, do it, and I've been passionate about it. And even at this stage, I love what I'm doing, and I'm looking forward to doing it for many more years to come. Yeah, I'd say you'd have not just a front row seat, but like the best seat in the house. I had a great seat. <laughs> great seat. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you.